We're going to kick off right now with our cha-cha forward locks. So please sit back, relax, and listen to the things we've got to talk about. And hopefully this will better your basic understanding of what is involved in getting a good locking action. Okay, so what I'd like to demonstrate first of all is understanding we'll go back to our posture. We must have our posture under control. So pelvic floor, abs, and lower back all tones, keeping that fruit bowl effect in the center of the body nice and contained. Okay, so we're gonna go with cha-cha-cha. So it's in the middle of, we're putting our weight in the middle of both feet. So my weight is falling down through the ball of my back foot and through the center or towards the heel of my front foot. So what we're going to do now is always remembering to use two legs when we dance. So the front leg is pulling, the back leg is pushing, and we're going to draw the feet in underneath. Very important that we know that the legs or the knees have to be side by side, not in the back of each other. Okay, side by side and feeling the pressure at all times all the way through. Have a little bit of um, pressure on the inside ball of foot behind. Okay, and the important thing here is a slight knee flex to absorb the action and it's going on to our left side. So we can have a left side lateral lean. Now what we're going to do is push off the back foot and when we do that, we create the bow and arrow effect where we have the ball of the back foot, okay, the ball of the back foot and ball of the front foot off the floor using legs in, in opposition to each other to create a very, very strong effect. Getting that right side lateral lean through the body, leading with the rib cage, and then firing the front knee. Okay, so we have cha, cha, and cha. Okay, one more time. So being very, very clear, cha, find the middle. Draw your feet in underneath you using your center. Go through the bow and arrow effect position, Opposition, fire the front knee. Okay, so foot speed is all about knees. Okay, so keep foot pressure on the floor, use your knees, and make sure you're using the resistance on both legs. Okay, so very quick one again. So we go cha, 50-50, draw the feet in underneath us, ball of foot back on the back foot, flat front foot, bow and arrow effect, straighten your knee. And that's how you do the cha-cha lock.